I'm saying hello today on October 10th, 2009 from Robert Hall Originals with the artist himself. He's a pewter smith and he has shown us the casting of a uh, piece of pewter art right here. This fresh silver looking piece here was just cast in a rubber mold and there's all sorts of processing that's going to happen now. So Robert, what's the next step? Well, the next step is surprisingly is that we paint it black. Oh. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's it. I didn't expect that. No. So I guess there must be a reason why we paint it black. Uh huh. Remembering how it was just that flat white material. When right. We started. Exactly. So, okay. If we look over here, this is a buffing machine. Mm hmm. So we have a very fine abrasive put onto a cotton wheel here. Mm hmm. Is it spinning around? I can take this. Mm hmm. And now you can oh, see it why it. Yeah, we nice. uh, paint it black. It gives it much so more raised, depth, yeah. yeah. The raised areas are bright and shiny, right. the recessed areas are dark. So now the detail stands out. Mm -hmm. So every item that we have, whether it's a big piece like this, mm -hmm. or like a um, letter opener, mm -hmm. We're all the way down to, let's see, little wee guy. A tiny like one. This. Yeah. You still have to. And you're not going to hurt your fingers doing that? Well, you yes. Your fingers might hurt <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, if you get careless, yeah. You're losing. The skin gets a little thin. There. Yeah, exactly. You see these funny little red spots, and you say, whoops. Uh huh, that was a well, little much, yeah. We actually uh, cheat a little bit when we wrap our fingers. So oh, that's a good idea. When you're doing a lot of it, then you don't want your fingers. Yeah. Mm hmm, exactly. I can get some good po high polish on your nails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Buffing your nails, Mind that's for your, sure. Uh, <clears throat> A little rough on them. So that means every single piece that you have in your showroom has undergone this multi step process. That's right. So you can appreciate that there's a lot of labor in oh, the yeah. computer. And because of that, we think of ourselves as being a bunch of dinosaurs. Oh, yeah? Well, if we were really with the program these days, we mm -hmm. would all have it made where? In China, yeah. In China. Of course. So uh, instead, we have it made mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. well, uh, you know, it's sort of one of those things you think, well, how can they be competitive and stay in business when in China I can pay somebody $2.50 a day to do this, whereas here that would buy me 10, maybe 15 minutes worth of labor. Mm -hmm. and I guess this is a good as good an example as anything being the Anuk Shuk. Mm -hmm. It's amazing the number of people that want something that's, quote, made in Canada. Absolutely, yeah. You know. Especially I art, because I think wh when it comes from China, it's perceived as mass-produced, yeah. whereas this is individually crafted. Or even the fact that, shall we say, the Inukshuk is a, a souvenir, shall we, a symbol of Canada, mm -hmm. like the maple leaf or the Canadian wildlife. Mm -hmm. And if you've never tried this, go through the experience sometime of going to a souvenir shop mm -hmm. and buy something a souvenir of Canada that's actually made in Canada. That's a hard to test. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could tell some very interesting stories about trying to do that and that's yeah. almost impossible to do. Whereas we can say, gee, you know, we know it's made here. Absolutely. It is Canadian product. We know that it's lead free, mm -hmm. which is a good plus. And so as a result, we get people that come from literally all over the world mm -hmm. and they're visiting friends over here or they're going overseas mm -hmm. they'll come and buy our pewter because they want to take something back that's authentic yeah, yeah. That exactly at. it's beautiful so. very nice can I ask you how many different molds do you have how many different items can you cast we make here over, in pewter alone we make over 3,000 different items so 3,000 molds at some point that you had to design you had to draw them out you had to make yeah. the the clay mold, you have to make the rubber That's for right. it. Wow. So when you look at it, mm -hmm. just to put it in perspective, yeah. this is a hunter jumper picture frame. Uh huh. Uh, it's kind of a uh, little bit worn, this one. Mm -hmm. But from the time we started with that pencil and paper, mm -hmm. and then we sculpt the original model, make the rubber mold, cast it, put it through all the finishing stages, mm -hmm. and so on. There's your week, first week's worth of wages. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's how much you got invested in that one. Yeah. And you hope that it's the right one. Exactly. We did this, uh, and one of my sales reps in the United States asked me to make this for them. Hunter Jumper. Mm -hmm. We sell. We have a very large equestrian pewter mm -hmm. line, and 
He looked at it and said, oh, it's great, but we got a little problem. He's what we call kissing the neck of the horse. Uh -huh. Backside's too high in the air and his feet's too far back in the, in the stirrups. It's not going to fly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, back to the drawing board and all over again. Right. And it took us three attempts to get it right. And, of course, the comment is, well, what's the big deal? Looks yeah. Good that way. Exactly. Well, because we did it right, we sell to places like the American Saddle Bread Museum, mm -hmm. the American Standard Bread Museum, the Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky, wow. Churchill Downs. They wouldn't touch it if it wasn't just right. It has to be right. So yeah. It has to be right. So exactly. we have to take it that step further mm -hmm. to make it right. Mm -hmm. And that's what one of the things we specialize in, too. Great custom orders from organizations and... Yeah, we do mm -hmm. a lot of custom work. We do the... Um, I don't see one here. Mm -hmm. But we do the Hamilton Music Awards every year. We're working on developing uh, awards for tours in Brantford. Oh, okay. And we cool. do a lot of other types of awards for different organizations. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we do a lot of custom work. And Great. Just as you saw there, mm -hmm. as the um, letter opener, mm -hmm. that's for the October 23rd opening of the uh, new engineering building at McMaster. Oh, there you go. So Great. Well, thank you so much for giving us a wonderful introduction to how you actually do your work. Thank you very much, Robert. What's your website if people want to look you up? They can look it up under www.robertpauloriginals.com. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank Great. you, Robert. Thank you.